goes. So this all started when our serpentine belt broke. After replacing that, the van was just not running the same. We had a really bad loss of power. We could barely make it up hills and it wouldn't go over 2,500 RPMs. Digging through the many fault codes we had at the time, we finally figured it out. Fuel quantity valve, open circuit. So we turned to our handy 05 Sprinter van parts manual and we found where it was located. I will save you the time and I will add all the info in the description below. After a couple seconds of investigating, sure enough, there it was, the open circuit. It happened when the belt broke. It must have whipped around and busted the connector plug on the fuel quantity valve. You can see how close the belt is to the valve, and when it broke, it cracked the plastic connector. When I reached down, I could feel that it was loose, and once I wiggled it, it disconnected completely. Get started by giving yourself some room to work. Nothing too crazy. I'm just removing the heat shield, air filter hose, and the oil dipstick. That gives you a few more inches because it is a very tight squeeze getting your hands down in between the fan and the engine block. The fuel quantity valve is bolted to the engine body by three Torx head screws. Now the only way to do this without taking apart the whole front end is by using a very small ratchet. It's very hard to see so you're pretty much working blind, a lot of feeling with your fingers and using small turns with the ratchet. A very slow process, but certainly doable. Now this will give you a better visual on how the part broke. Before I put the new one on, I cleaned the wire harness connectors using electric contact spray. Get all three bolts in place first before you tighten them all the way. Use your fingers to hand tighten the bolt so you have less turns to tighten with the ratchet. Now you just have to put everything back together, plug everything back in place, and before you start it, you're going to want to prime your new valve with fuel. So turn over your key and wait till the glow plug goes away. Then turn it back off. Repeat this process five times, and it should crank right up. Now here's some comparison video on the difference in power we're now getting back. watching please like and subscribe if this video was helpful for you